Yeah, but I'm up in a tree, I'm not down on the ground. So we're doing some cobra bracing today. This is what we've got set up. The four ton cobra set. So we've got the cable that expands. We've got the covers. And then the protective sheaths that go over there. And then some tape to seal off the ends. You can use the shrink wrap stuff, but tape's a lot easier. And then I'm just gonna put it all in an empty climbing bag. So this is the fork we're bracing. It's got a bit of decay and, and bleeding cankers. So you want to set it up two thirds the way up from the fork. So not two thirds of the, the whole tree, two thirds from the fork to the tips. This union's pretty poor as well. So we're thinking here, down to the lower point because none of this top stuff's suitable. Then one from the left fork to me high up here and then one from this strong fork again to that that will help support this poor union as well as the, the included union from me over to that section there you'll come across this issue where these are too big so you just got to cut them down you want the rope to re-enter itself half the width of the total branch you want it so half is about this much you want that to enter about half thickness outwards so it's only a thin one let's cut it down roughly here with that one so bring it round that main fork and then you want to cut it so it only yeah so it matches up for, like aligns well with just a square side or need need that side um you'd want the pointed side yeah where to start inserting is important because you need a minimum of 16 to 18 inches of it going through itself and then you need the, the inspection loop as well. So, I'd say my hand's about seven inches, so 14. At least this much of threading through itself. And then the inspection loop as well. So that's roughly probably the right size. We'll start inserting from roughly around here. Obviously we'll lose a bit of length from inserting, so you want to account for a bit extra. You can always adjust it once you're in. So it expands and clamps and that's how it all works. When, it, when it's under tension it will grip really tight, so you just open it up and gently feed it through. It is a bit fiddly. You can sort of milk it in, give it a bit of stretch and then milk it down. So we're inside now. So that's the sheath that gives it some rigidity. And then we just want the protective layer, the protective sheath to go on top. Give an estimate, see, can we still have the 18 inches? I would say so, yeah. Do you want the sheath to go around the circumference of the limb? So roughly around here. Let's cut that up. If you had a nice knife, I'd recommend using that. So put the sheath round. You want your ends to be sealed. A point can be quite helpful. Um, but don't have it all frayed and loose. Make sure you seal up the end. So get that over the plastic piece. So that's nice, like that. So then, like I said, the, the gap distance you want is half the diameter of the limb. So half of about that much, about this much. So bringing that out, wants to be inserted with about that much distance. That just gives it room to grow. And move around so you don't choke the tree. So this is the tricky bit. So you want to insert it into itself, but now instead of popping out the other side, you want it to run through itself minimum of 16 inches that does increase on the larger limbs up to 18 inches run it through itself milk it in people never go in enough and it needs that length to actually grip itself the, the more it goes in the harder it will grip so about 14 inches 
I'd say that's about long enough. So then you want to pop out the side. Tension her up, like so. And then the adjustment loop, you just want to poke through. And you're just making a loop like that. And you want to leave the loop. So if this stretches or starts to come undone, you can visually inspect from the ground and this will stretch out. So you'll see if there's been movement. So you set that in. And you want to swing over or pass it to someone else you're doing it with. And they want to re replicate them steps on the other side. You can put the dynamic spaces in and that allows some stretch. But because we're worried that these limbs are going to fail, we want to give it as minimum stretch as possible so that this is a static cobra rather than a dynamic cobra. We've isolated the limb. So you want to pull from that bottom end. You can let go of that end probably. And then we want to estimate it's going to, we're going to lose some once you insert things. You always want to give yourself a bit extra. But if we imagine the 18 inches running down, so you'd run it parallel with this line. So at least roughly there. And then you want the inspection spiral as well. So even a bit longer. Mm -hmm. So it might even be as much as that. Okay. Because then we can always cut a little bit extra off yeah. the line. But I'd, I'd imagine that's more than enough. I'll take this end up and cut it. Harry's sealing off the end now, so there's a slight point. So, we want to get that so it's around here. Mm -hmm. On the inside. But we have to, yeah, if I, so while that's on, so if you inserted it there, obviously when we stretch it out, it'll be different. So, probably wants a slight bit of tension, about that much. But then when it's under tension, it's, it's impossible to get in. So we'll make, just make a mark and then we can, yeah. or say, say here. trickier not poking through the other end and then it all moves when it expands because obviously you lose a bit of shape so we might have to make a minor adjustment but because we've cut it it's quite hard for them to adjust back it's easy to go forward that's gonna be hard now we've got the distance on this so it doesn't really matter we can go slightly more than we we actually need but when the two limbs are close it's quite hard to get this 18 inch um, self thread I'd say that's quite good so we'll poke out the end and then see if we can tension it up Chant. that's quite good actually <laughs> no that's, that's that's it, that's awesome, yeah. So this is our taut. You're not pulling it together, you're just stopping it when it wants to pinch down. So that's a good one. And these have all matched up perfect. So yeah, if you wanted to do the shock absorber, you'd have just inserted it in between step one and two there. So put it in and then tension it up. So that's pretty good. Yeah, it just needs to go through once. Spot on. Sound. 